Let's take a look at finding the y-intercept on HP prime graph and calculator. And specifically, let's look at this problem. Find that y-intercept of f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 7. Very easy to do by hand, um, but we're going to just uh, take a look at it on the calculator. Um, kind of helps to, for you to analyze a graph if you can look at it visually and see what's going on. I'm under my apps. If you're not there, press your apps button. Then you highlight function and press enter on it. And we're going to type in our function. So we got x squared. So x key, x squared, minus 6x, minus 7, and press enter. Now if we go to the graph, press plot, remember from before, x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis, our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. And uh, here, uh, where it crosses the, the um, y-axis, we're going to plug 0 in for x, and so 0 for x is right here. Well, it's kind of weird how we, we do it here. There's various places actually you can do this on the calculator, but I'm just showing it graphically. We can press menu and um, if we go go to it says enter the value for which to jump if I put zero here and press enter it doesn't appear like it does has done anything but now if I hide the menu click the menu button again see how it says zero and then negative seven well that's our y intercept so zero negative seven you could also have done that by evaluating a function. And we have looked at three different ways on HP Prime Graph and Calculator to evaluate a function. And I suspect there's even more than that. Uh, there's some in the ca cast mode. Anyway, I'm going to press app to, apps to get out of that. And that's uh, finding the y-intercept on uh, HP Prime Graph and Calculator.